gauge. I mean, how, what, what is it about that first drive that this offense is, has found success in? Um, I think our game planning is good, and uh, we call it good openers um, <clears throat> for that first drive. And, you know, defense is still trying to settle in. And um, you know, for, I like getting the ball first. I like being the guy that sets the tempo. Um, so for us, scoring on the first drive is, is huge, and we focus on that. About your game overall, how do you feel like it seemed like for the most part good, but so you know, just yeah, highs and lows. Yeah, I mean, we got we got some good situations, got the ball in good places. Um, and that second or second half, yeah, third quarter, we got ball on the plus side a lot or close to it. Um, so I think I played all right, but then you know, definitely a lot of things. How much of that, how important was that drive you think way before half time when you get the ball maybe quick and that was big. you know, that that's to be able to get the pick, you know, I. I had a feeling we were going to get the ball, but you know, on the ten-yard line versus the thirty, wherever Josiah picked it off, it's a big difference. Um, I'm glad we were able to score for that. Was that the big difference? How you know, last week you moved the ball, but couldn't finish, and for a chunk of that first half, it felt like that, but that kind of seemed to change things. But yeah, kind of momentum. You know, playing them for as long as I have, um, kind of, kind of see what they're doing in, in their red zone defense, and try to take advantage of a little bit of what stuff and. Uh, Patty Fisher knows knows me as a quarterback, so he was, he was getting places where I could throw the ball to. But um, uh, it was good to be able to finish those drives this week instead of last week. Getting that win for Coach D'Antonio after last week, what was the conversation for you guys this week coming into it? Oh, um, you know, we were just focused on getting a win, starting one on Big Ten. It wasn't he honestly didn't really, didn't mention it one time. I don't think um, you know we, we kind of wanted to get it last week, but um, you know we, we were just focused on starting the Big Ten season off well. What did you tell him after the game? I said, "Congrats." I, we, I mean, we had the, we wanted to pour some water on him, but they dumped out the, uh, the coolers before we could. So that kind of sucks. But Brent, what are you guys in? in sorry if you answered this already. Just sort of in your growth, your sense of things. You, you have that great, efficient first drive, then four possessions where you don't go anywhere. Then you're great at the end of the half. You seem to have some things going with Daryl and Cody a little bit. Can you kind of put in the context where you guys are right now? Um, what what are you asking? Just as an offense, growth wise, where you think you can be and where you are right now? Um, I mean, there's still a ton of negative plays and a ton of penalties we had today that could get fixed and we could have scored more points. Um, I think we're on the right track. You know, I said we said that after Western too, so we got to uh, make sure we follow it up with another good performance next week. How nice was it to beat Northwestern after the previous three years? Yeah, um, you know, playing against him, my first start ever. Uh, being able to beat him my senior year after not beating him for the past three um, feels pretty good. Um, you know, Tyreek Thompson at the beginning of camp, you know, we, we go around and give our senior speeches, and his MSU fact was um, having beaten Northwestern since 2013, and that was something that we focused on. He, he did it especially, and uh, I'm going to say to make sure we get, get a win when this game came up. Matt Seibert got going today, big game today. Do you expect to see anything like that from him? Uh, he's 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 gotten the nickname of Mr. Reliable in our in our uh, our quarterback room. So <laughs> um, he has he has great hands and he gets open and he showed it today. So. Brian, did I have a touchdown that he had? What was were you expecting that to be open? Which one? The first or second one? Um, yeah, I mean, the first one was a little was a little post. Um, I got a good one, Mike got there. Second one, that's my first read, and uh, once I saw the backer flow out, he was wide open right in the middle. He was tossed it was pretty easy. So. Brian, today you guys had some of the same stuff from last week in terms of just sort of drive slow in, you know, penalties or you know third down misses, stuff like that. But you're able to overcome, obviously, get points on the board. What do you think was the bigger difference from last week to this week in, in that regard in terms of not letting one thing sort of kill a drive? Yeah, we were getting good field position, and you know, last week it was a matter of one play that we missed that could have been the difference in the drive. And, we converted that one play this this week. There's you know, some third downs that were uh, vital. Um, we touched on before half. I think that was a huge tone setter going into the second half. Um, so we, we we were just able to finish a lot better than what we did last week. Anything else, Brian? Thanks, Brian. Brian.